So this is how we can customize MacBook lock screen. Well, there isn't really much that you can do about it, but there are certainly things you can customize. So you open up the settings or system settings as they're called on the Mac and on the left panel, I want you to scroll down and find the lock screen menu. And when you tap on it, you're going to get a bunch of different options to tweak and customize. For instance, you have the screen saver for how long you, you get to pick how long it's going to be uh, turned on when your Mac is inactive. Then you, you also have like so many different other things. Uh, if the screen is going to turn off when the battery, uh, you know, uh, on battery when it's inactive. And also you have customization of the 24 hour time in comparison with the 12 hour time, right? So there are so many things you can tweak in here or you can choose whether you show a large clock on the lock screen or never or the screen saver and lock screen. So there are some things which you can do in here, like uh, switch or show password hints, show message when locked and these things which are available to you. You also have some accessibility options like the zoom and uh, sticky keys and accessibility keyboard, which you can also turn on for the lock screen. However, the other side of this is the wallpaper. So when you go to the left panel again above the lock screen, you should find a wallpaper. And there you can also just choose where it's going to appear, obviously, right? So you can switch to a different wallpaper and you can make it, a, you can decide where it's exactly it's going to show up, right? So you can just uh, turn it on. And if you just choose a different like wallpaper, you're going to notice that it also shows up on the lock screen as well. So you can customize it in here uh, too. That's essentially how it kind of works. There are many more things you can do. So let me know below in the comments what you think about it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you later on in the next tutorial in the next video.